How is it that some series are legendary and others are just mediocre? For example, all series that are iconic and popular with viewers require good acting. And this, in turn, is one of the main components of success. But the main thing is also that the series must have its own unique style to become popular, and the people who create it must be very talented, so that each story is truly special. Time will tell what kind of footprint this series will leave behind. But its discussion rate at this point in time is quite high. Meanwhile, the episode release date has already been determined. Spectators will be able to see a new episode on February 7th. Even before its release, this series managed to make a statement and attract the attention of interested audiences. Viewers are intrigued and anxiously awaiting the premiere. Will the series live up to the high expectations or will it be a pass? We won't know for sure until the final episode. And so that you can get even more emotions before the full release, we have collected for you the best series that every lover of interesting plots must watch in his life. The Vampire Diaries is an American supernatural teen drama television series developed by Kevin Williamson and Julie Pleck, based on the book series of the same name. The series premiered on September 10, 2009, and concluded on March 10, 2017, having aired 171 episodes over eight seasons. The series is set in the fictional town of Mystic Falls, Virginia, a town charged with supernatural history. It follows the life of Elena Gilbert, a teenage girl who has just lost both parents in a car accident, as she falls in love with a 162-year-old vampire named Stefan Salvatore. Their relationship becomes increasingly complicated as Stefan's mysterious older brother Damon Salvatore returns, with a plan to bring back their past love Catherine Pierce, a vampire who looks exactly like Elena. Although Damon initially harbors a grudge against his brother for forcing him to become a vampire, he later reconciles with Stefan and falls in love with Elena, creating a love triangle among the three. Both brothers attempt to protect Elena as they face various villains and threats to their town, including Catherine. The brothers' history and the town's mythology are revealed through flashbacks as the series goes on. The Vampire Diaries initially received mixed reviews, which through the course of the show, improved significantly. Many TV critics felt the series improved with each episode. Sarah Hughes of The Independent says The Vampire Diaries turns into a well-crafted, interestingly developed series despite a mediocre opening episode. The X-Files is an American science fiction drama television series created by Chris Carter. The series revolves around FBI special agents Fox Mulder, and Dana Scully who investigate X-Files, marginalized, unsolved cases involving paranormal phenomena. The X-Files was a hit for the Fox network and received largely positive reviews, although its long-term story arc was criticized near the conclusion. Both the series itself and lead actors Duchovny and Anderson received multiple awards and nominations, and by its conclusion the show was the longest-running science fiction series in U.S. television history. Duchovny had worked in Los Angeles for three years prior to The X-Files, at first he wanted to focus on feature films. In 1993, his manager, Melanie Green, gave him the script for the pilot episode of The X-Files. Green and Duchovny were both convinced it was a good script, so he auditioned for the lead. Duchovny's audition was terrific, though he talked rather slowly. While the casting director of the show was very positive toward him, Carter thought that he was not particularly intelligent. He asked Duchovny if he could please imagine himself as an FBI agent in future episodes. Duchovny, however, turned out to be one of the best read people that Carter knew. Anderson auditioned for the role of Scully in 1993. After auditions, Carter felt she was the only choice. Carter insisted that Anderson had the kind of no-nonsense integrity that the role required. For portraying Scully, Anderson won numerous major awards, the Screen Actors Guild Award in 1996 and 1997, an Emmy Award in 1997, and a Golden Globe Award 1997. The pilot premiered on September 10, 1993, and reached 12 million viewers. As the season progressed, ratings began to increase and the season finale garnered 14 million viewers. The first season revolves around its two main characters, which had been defined early in conception as the believer and the skeptic. The season saw the series quickly gaining popularity, with ratings rising steadily throughout its run, and garnered generally positive reviews from critics and the media. It helped to make stars of its two lead roles, and several of its taglines and catchphrases have since become cultural staples.
Breaking Bad is an American neo-western crime drama television series created and produced by Vince Gilligan. The series stars Brian Cranston as Walter White and Aaron Paul as his accomplice Jesse Pinkman. It was set and filmed in New Mexico, and tells the story of Walter White, an underpaid, overqualified, and dispirited high school chemistry teacher who is struggling with a recent diagnosis of stage 3 lung cancer. Walter turns to a life of crime, partnering with his former student Jesse Pinkman. Since its conclusion, the show has been lauded by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. As the series progressed, Gilligan and the writing staff of Breaking Bad made Walter increasingly unsympathetic. Before completing the script, Gilligan revealed that it was difficult to develop the character of Walter White because the character was getting darker and more morally conflicted. Writing music for each episode takes about a week. Each episode soundtrack was typically led by meetings between the composer, music supervisor, and music editor with Vince Gilligan and the key people involved in the episode's creation. They discussed where the music should be and where not. The first season received numerous awards and nominations, including four Primetime Emmy Award nominations with two wins. Brian Cranston won for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series and Lynn Willingham won for Outstanding Single Camera Picture Editing for a Drama Series. The first season of the series, starting with the pilot episode, introduces the viewer to the life of Walter White, a 50-year-old high school chemistry teacher from the city of Albuquerque. In addition to teaching, he is forced to work part-time at a car wash to support his pregnant wife and disabled son. However, Walter has to rethink his usual lifestyle when he is diagnosed with inoperable lung cancer. The Office is an American sitcom television series. Based on the 2001-2003 BBC series of the same name created by Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant, it was adapted for American television by Greg Daniels. The Office was met with mixed reviews during its short first season, but the following seasons, particularly those featuring Carell, received significant acclaim from television critics as the show's characters, content, structure, and tone diverged considerably from the British version. This season introduced the main characters, and established the general plot, which revolves around Michael Scott, regional manager of the Scranton branch office, trying to convince the filmmakers of the documentary that he presides over a happy, well-running office. Meanwhile, sales rep Jim Halpert finds methods to undermine his cubemate, Dwight Schrute, receptionist Pam Beasley tries to deal with Michael's insensitivities and flubs, and temporary employee Ryan Howard is acting mostly as an observer of the insanity around him. The first episode received largely mixed reviews from critics. After the first episodes, critics thought The Office would be another failed remake of a British comedy. Despite these criticisms, the remainder of the season earned mostly positive reviews among critics. The filming process is organized in such a way that the series took the form of a kind of reality show. Most of the dialogues in which are built on improvisation, and the actors do not know where the camera is at the moment. The first season was filmed in a real office. During the second season, NBC moved filming to a special studio that replicated the setting of the first season, including plaques and testimonials hanging on the walls. A detailed script was written for each episode of the series, but the actors were always given the opportunity to improvise. In early episodes, the camera crews were limited primarily to office space, but as the show expanded, the characters' personal lives were included, and the cameras took on the ubiquitous, even haunting function of making a character's entire life available to the viewer. Cameras begin to accompany the heroes from the office and to their homes. Endless Love is a Turkish drama series. The series has become a milestone in the international history of Turkish series, being awarded by the International Emmy Awards for Best Telenovela in 2017, becoming the first and only Turkish series to win this award. In addition, it has also been the only Turkish series to become a finalist in these awards. The novel has become the most watched Turkish series in the world, being broadcast in more than 110 countries with successful audiences and has been translated into more than 50 languages. In its broadcast in the United States through Univision, it became the most watched foreign soap opera in the entire history of the country and the Turkish series with the highest audience, surpassing its main competitors. The love story remains the most watched fiction in Hispanic prime time with more than 2 million viewers every day and close to 4 million in its final episode, something that no other series has achieved. Currently, 
Kara Sevda remains the most watched Turkish series in the United States. The first episode was a resounding success. The plot opened up an interesting story for the viewer. Kemal Soydara is the son of a middle-class family. In his last year in mining engineering, a girl named Nian enters his monotonous life. Love is impossible because of the class difference between them, but they manage to be together. That is until the day that Kemal has to move to a Zonguldak mine, unaware that Nian will be forced to marry Amir Kosbogl, a man in love with her since they were children. Kemal isolates himself at work, and one day, following his actions to help in an accident at the mine, Kemal is promoted and assumes a position of power in the company. Five years later, Kemal makes the decision to return to Istanbul to face his past. Stranger Things is an American science fiction horror drama television series created by the Duffer Brothers and streaming on Netflix. The brothers serve as showrunners and are executive producers along with Sean Levy and Dan Cohen. The series premiered on Netflix on July 15, 2016. Set in the 1980s in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana, the first season focuses on the investigation into the disappearance of a young boy amid supernatural events occurring around the town. The Duffer brothers developed Stranger Things as a mix of investigative drama alongside supernatural elements portrayed with horror, science fiction and childlike sensibilities. Setting the series in the 1980s, the Duffer brothers infused references to the pop culture of that decade while several themes and directorial aspects were inspired primarily by the works of Steven Spielberg, John Carpenter and Stephen King, as well as anime and video games. Stranger Things has attracted record viewership on Netflix and has an international fan base. The series has received critical acclaim for its characterization, atmosphere, acting, soundtrack, directing, writing, and homages to 1980s films. It has received many awards and nominations, including 39 Primetime Emmy Award nominations, for Golden Globe Award nominations, a British Academy Television Award nomination, two Directors Guild of America Award nominations, three Writers Guild of America Award nominations, and three Grammy Award nominations. Stranger Things gained a dedicated fan base soon after its release. Scrubs is an American medical comedy-drama television series created by Bill Lawrence that aired from 2001 to 2010 on NBC and later ABC. The series follows the lives of employees at the fictional Sacred Heart Hospital, which is a teaching hospital. The title is a play on surgical scrubs and a term for a low-ranking person because at the beginning of the series, most of the main characters are medical interns. The series was noted for its fast-paced slapstick and surreal vignettes presented mostly as the daydreams of the central character, John Dorian, played by Zach Braff. The main cast for all but its last season consisted of Braff, Sarah Chulke, Donald Faison, Neil Flynn, Ken Jenkins, John C. McGinley, and Judy Reyes. Scrubs focuses on the unique point of view of its main character and narrator, Dr. John Michael Dorian for the first eight seasons, with season nine being narrated by the new main character Lucy Bennett. Most episodes feature multiple storylines thematically linked by voiceovers done by Braff, as well as the comical daydreams of JD. Almost every episode title for the first eight seasons begins with the word my. Bill Lawrence says this is because each episode is Dr. John Dorian writing in his diary. For the first eight seasons, the series featured seven main cast members, with numerous other characters recurring throughout the course of the series. Starting with the ninth season, many of the original cast left as regular characters, while four new additions were made to the main cast. The first season introduces John Michael Dorian and his best friend Christopher Turk in their first year out of medical school as interns at Sacred Heart Hospital. JD meets his reluctant mentor Perry Cox, an attractive female intern named Elliot, on whom he develops a crush. The hospital's janitor, who goes out of his way to make JD's life difficult. Chief of Medicine Dr. Bob Kelso, who is more concerned about the budget than the patients. And Carla Espinoza, the head nurse who eventually becomes Turk's girlfriend. The characters face romance and relationship issues, family obligations, overwhelming paperwork, long shifts, dealing with death of patients, and conflicting pressures from senior doctors. American Horror Story is an American anthology horror television series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. 
Each season is conceived as a self-contained miniseries, following a different set of characters and settings, and a storyline with its own beginning, middle, and end. Some plot elements of each season are loosely inspired by true events. Many actors appear in more than one season, often playing a new character. The first season, takes place in Los Angeles, California in 2011, and centers on a family that moves into a house haunted by its former occupants. Although reception to individual seasons has varied, American Horror Story largely has been well received by television critics, with the majority of the praise going towards the cast, particularly Jessica Lange. The series draws consistently high ratings for the FX network, with its first season being the most viewed new cable series of 2011. Creators Murphy and Falchuk began working on American Horror Story before their Fox series Glee began production. Murphy wanted to do the opposite of what he had done previously and thus began his work on the series. Falchuk was intrigued by the idea of putting a different angle on the horror genre, stating that their main goal in creating the series was to scare viewers. From the beginning, Murphy and Falchuk planned that each season of the series would tell a different story. After the first season finale aired, Murphy spoke of his plans to change the cast and location for the second season. The first season, American Horror Story, Murder House, received generally positive reviews from critics. The Queen's Gambit is a 2020 American coming-of-age period drama streaming television miniseries based on the 1983 novel of the same name by Walter Tevis. The title refers to The Queen's Gambit, a chess opening. The series was written and directed by Scott Frank, who created it with Alan Scott, who owns the rights to the book. Beginning in the mid-1950s and proceeding into the 1960s, the story follows the life of Beth Harmon, a fictional chess prodigy on her rise to the top of the chess world while struggling with dependencies. Netflix released The Queen's Gambit on October 23, 2020. After four weeks it had become Netflix's most-watched scripted miniseries, making it Netflix's top program in 63 countries. The series received critical acclaim, with particular praise for Taylor Joy's performance, the cinematography, and production values. It also received a positive response from the chess community for its accurate depictions of high-level chess, and data suggests that it increased public interest in the game. The first episodes were immediately loved by millions of viewers. The plot was very intriguing. In 1950s Lexington, Kentucky, an eight-year-old Beth, having lost her mother in a car crash, is taken to an orphanage where she is taught chess by the building's custodian, Mr. Shabel. She quickly becomes a strong chess player due to her visualization skills. A few years later, Beth is adopted by childless suburban couple Alma and Alston Wheatley. As she adjusts to her new home, Beth enters a chess tournament and wins despite having no prior experience in competitive chess. Alma is initially resistant to Beth's interest in chess, but after Beth wins her first tournament, Alma is fully supportive of her adoptive daughter's sojourns to enter various chess competitions. With help from her oldest friend Jolene, whom she grew up with in the orphanage, she prepares for her biggest challenge yet, a major international chess tournament against the world's best players in Moscow. In October 2020, the series was the most watched show on Netflix in the United States. On November 23, 2020, Netflix announced that the series had been watched by 62 million households since its release. The series received praise from the chess community for its realistic portrayal of the game and players. Production designer Uli Hanisch developed the series sets to evoke the aesthetic of the 1950s and 1960s. Much of the series was filmed in Berlin because interiors found there could stand in for a large number of the show's locations, including Las Vegas, Cincinnati, Mexico City, Moscow, and Paris. The Sopranos is an American crime drama television series created by David Chase. The story revolves around Tony Soprano, a New Jersey-based Italian-American mobster, portraying the difficulties that he faces as he tries to balance his family life with his role as the leader of a criminal organization. Tony Soprano has a panic attack that prompts him to see a psychiatrist. The pilot was ordered in 1997, and the show premiered on HBO on January 10, 1999. The series ran for six seasons totaling 86 episodes until June 10, 2007. The Sopranos is widely regarded as one of the greatest television series of all time. It has been the subject of critical analysis, controversy, and parody, and has spawned books, a video game, soundtrack albums, podcasts and assorted merchandise. 
Several members of the show's cast and crew were largely unknown to the public but have since had successful careers. Since its inception in 1999, the series has become a cultural phenomenon, gaining wide popularity and critical acclaim. This was due to the innovative approach to the description of the life of the Mafia, the American family, the problems of the Italian-American community in the United States and the boundaries of what society considers morality. The first episode was very exciting. At a family picnic, Tony collapses. In the hospital, during the examination, it turns out that this is not a physiological deviation, but a psychological one. On the recommendation of his doctor neighbor, Bruce Cusimano, Anthony goes to see psychiatrist Jennifer Melfi. Tony cannot tell all the details of his life due to the fact that his story is connected with crime. Moreover, Dr. Melfi immediately warned him that if she learns anything about even a possible harm to a person, she is legally obliged to report this data to the police. In the process of therapy, some details of Anthony's life are revealed, his attitude to life, to the family, to children and to his mother, which makes him very nervous, because no matter what he does, no matter how he behaves, his mother Livia always remains dissatisfied with him. Tony carefully hides the fact of visiting a psychotherapist from his friends. Heroes is an American superhero drama television series created by Tim Crane. The series tells the stories of ordinary people who discover that they have superhuman abilities and how these abilities take effect in the characters' lives as they work together to prevent catastrophic futures. The series emulates the aesthetic style and storytelling of American comic books, using multi-episode story arcs that build upon a larger, more encompassing narrative. Originally, Kring designed the series to have an ever-shifting cast. However, his motivation changed when he realized how popular the original cast was with audiences, therefore, he brought back most of the first season cast for the second season, with a few additions who received star billing. In its first season, the show features an ensemble cast of 12 main characters making it the third largest cast in American primetime television behind Desperate Housewives and Lost. The plot of Heroes is designed to be told in a way similar to the way comic books are told. Each season of Heroes contains one or two volumes. There are several main storylines in each volume. As the main plots develop, smaller, more intimate stories are told within them. Each main character's story is developed separately and as time passes their paths cross and it is explained how their stories are intertwined and connected. This is the story of ordinary people who discover extraordinary superpowers after a solar eclipse reveals them, and how these abilities affect the characters' daily lives. The first season, known as Volume 1, Genesis, begins with a seemingly ordinary group of people who gradually become aware that they have special abilities. The story develops showing their reactions to those powers, and how that discovery affects their personal and professional lives. At the same time, several ordinary individuals are investigating the origins and extent of those abilities. Mohinder Suresh, a research geneticist, continues his late father's research into the biological source of the powers, while Noah Bennett represents, and is a lead agent for, a secret organization known only as the company that wants to control, and if necessary, terminate those who are gifted. After only having a short time to come to terms with their new abilities, each of the heroes is drawn into the final showdown. Heroes include some mysterious fictional recurring elements that have been ascribed to science fiction or supernatural phenomena. Kring and the creators of the series referred to these fictional elements as part of the mythology of the series. Kring confirmed that although the show has a unique mythology, he did not want to sink too deeply into it. Rather, Kring used volumes to wrap up ongoing plot lines instead of carrying storylines over long periods of time as in Lost. Season 1 received highly positive reviews. During the season, the American Film Institute named Heroes one of the 10 best television programs of the year. The Tenth Kingdom is an American fairy tale fantasy miniseries written by Simon Moore. It depicts the adventures of a young woman and her father after they are transported from New York City, through a magical mirror, into a parallel world of fairy tales. From the first episode the series has won the hearts of millions of people around the world. In a hidden realm, fairy tale characters inhabit nine magical kingdoms where an evil queen plots to rule them. She is held in a fourth kingdom prison. This kingdom is under the rule of Prince Wendell, the spoiled, arrogant grandson of Snow White. Weeks before his coronation ceremony, 
the queen enlists the help of the brutal troll king and his three children to release her right before the prince makes his annual visit to the prison. Prince Wendell is captured by the evil queen, who is his wicked stepmother. She turns him into a golden retriever while her very own retriever is transformed into a facsimile of Wendell. In a panic, the transformed prince flees through the prison, stumbles across a mirror portal in the basement, and is transported to New York City. The Troll King orders his bumbling children Burley, Blabberwort, and Bluebell to bring back the escaped prince while the queen releases a half-wolf prisoner to retrieve him instead. Meanwhile, regular Manhattan inhabitants, headstrong waitress Virginia Lewis and her oafish father Tony are entangled in the mishaps caused by the new magical arrivals to the city, including Wolf falling helplessly in love with Virginia and Tony being given six wishes, which he foolishly uses for personal gain, upon which they have a tendency to backfire. The Mandalorian is an American space western television series created by Jon Favreau for the streaming service Disney+. It is the first live-action series in the Star Wars franchise, beginning five years after the events of Return of the Jedi. It stars Pedro Pascal as the title character, a lone bounty hunter who goes on the run after being hired to retrieve the child. Star Wars creator George Lucas had begun developing a live-action Star Wars television series by 2009, but this project was deemed too expensive to produce. He sold Lucasfilm to Disney in October 2012. Subsequently, work on a new Star Wars series began for Disney+. The Mandalorian premiered with the launch of Disney Plus on November 12, 2019. The eight-episode first season was met with positive reviews, was nominated for Outstanding Drama Series, and won seven Primetime Creative Arts Emmy Awards. And the first episode was just great. The episode stars Pedro Pascal as the Mandalorian, a lone bounty hunter who is given a mission by the mysterious client. The episode won two Primetime Emmy Awards. Five years after the fall of the Empire, Mandalorian bounty hunter collects a fugitive after a scuffle in a bar on the ice planet Pagadon and returns to the planet Navarro in his ship, the Razorcrest. He meets Grief Karga, the leader of the Bounty Hunters Guild, but he only offers low-paying bounties that will not cover travel expenses. Looking to get a bigger bounty, the Mandalorian accepts a mysterious commission for which Karga can only provide an address to meet the client who wants the details of the job to be private. The client, who uses Imperial Stormtroopers as bodyguards, gives the Mandalorian a vague target to bring back alive. The only information he is allowed to give is an age, 50 years old, and last known location. In exchange, the client promises to reward the bounty hunter with a container full of Besker, a rare metal used by Mandalorians to forge their armor. Receiving a single bar of Besker as a down payment, the Mandalorian meets with the armorer at an enclave housing fellow Mandalorians. The armorer, who melts the metal into a pauldron reserved for the Mandalorian, says the metal was gathered in the Great Purge and the excess will sponsor foundlings, as the Mandalorian once was. The nature of good and evil and the question of nature versus nurture is raised repeatedly throughout the Mandalorian. Constant Love is a Turkish romantic television series. The plot proved interesting to many viewers. Reyyen is Nesu Sadoglu's granddaughter, patriarch of the prominent Sadoglu family in the town of Midyat. However, she has never felt loved by anyone in her household except her father, Hazar, her mother, Zara, and her younger sister, Gul. Reyyen has been mistreated by her grandfather since childhood because she is not his biological granddaughter, and the only reason he accepted her into the family was at Hazar's request. One morning, Reyyen goes out on horseback to watch the sunrise. On her way back, her horse is nearly hit by a car. Reyyen falls and loses consciousness. The driver of the car, a handsome young man named Miran, is immediately attracted to her and offers to drive her back home. Yaren, daughter of Hazar's brother, Chihan, is infatuated with Miran. When Miran falls in love with her cousin, Yaren swears revenge on Reyyen for stealing Miran from her and ruining her life. Eventually, Miran and Reyyen are married. However, Miran abandons Reyyen after their first night as husband and wife, sparking intense feelings of betrayal and hatred in Reyyen. She vows to never let him forget what he has done to her. Soon, Reyyen finds out that everything Miran has told her about himself is a lie, his name, his background, his family, and the wedding. Miran's plan all along was to gain the trust of the Sadagla family, marry their innocent daughter and then leave her the morning after, 
humiliating the entire family and thus, exacting the first part of his revenge against the Sataglas. How I Met Your Mother is an American sitcom, created by Craig Thomas and Carter Bays for CBS. The series, which aired from 2005 to 2014, follows the main character, Ted Mosby, and his group of friends in New York City's Manhattan. The series was loosely inspired by Thomas and Bay's friendship when they both lived in New York. The vast majority of episodes were directed by Pamela Fryman, who directed 196 episodes out of 208. Known for its unique structure, humor, and incorporation of dramatic elements, How I Met Your Mother was popular throughout its run. It initially received positive reviews upon release, but reception became more mixed as the seasons went on. The show was nominated for 91 awards and received 21. In 2010, Alison Hannigan won the People's Choice Award for Favorite TV Comedy Actress. In 2012, seven years after its premiere, the series won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Network TV Comedy, and Neil Patrick Harris won the award for Favorite TV Comedy Actor twice. The series follows the adventures of Ted Mosby, played by Josh Radner, and his love life as a single man. His stories are narrated by Bob Saget as Ted Mosby 25 years later as he tells them to his adolescent children. The plot of the first episodes of the first season was very interesting. After his best friend Marshall proposes to his long-term girlfriend, Lily, Ted solicits help from his friend Barney to find the one for his life. He manages to get a date with Robin, a girl he met at his usual neighborhood bar, but threatens to scare Robin away when he accidentally reveals his love for her on the very first date. Meanwhile, Marshall accidentally hits Lily in the eye with the champagne stopper after they get engaged, forcing her to wear an eye patch. In an attempt to repair his situation with Robin, Ted instead pursues a casual relationship with her by inviting her to a series of parties. Marshall tries to write an important 25-page law paper, but Ted's parties and Lily's post-engagement desire distracts him. Meanwhile, Barney tries to end a relationship he unknowingly started. Ted agrees to let Barney disrupt his routine by taking an impromptu trip to the airport with him that eventually leads the duo to Philadelphia and trouble with airport security. Meanwhile, Lily and Robin go out for drinks, but Lily becomes jealous when she is not as successful with men as Robin is, for which she blames her engagement ring. Marshall travels between both situations in an attempt to rectify the group's problems. Establishment, Osman is a Turkish historical drama television series. It is a sequel to the popular multi-episode show Risen Ertegrel, which gained fans around the world and was one of the highest rated shows in Turkey. The actors of the series underwent special training for nine months. They learned how to ride a horse, wield a sword, practice swordplay, shoot an arrow, and learn martial choreography. Their military training took place in mountainous and forested areas, where they built their fortifications, sought water and prepared food. Audiences loved the beautiful sets, which look authentic, and the detailed costumes, which give a fairly accurate representation of the historical era. The story of the founder of the state, who became part of national legends, cannot turn out neutral. It will be fiery and memorable. For Turkish viewers there is nothing unnatural about this, but for those who watched the series in other countries it may seem a bit strange. The series is focuses on the life of Osman, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. The TV show includes Osman Ghazi's internal and external struggles and how he establishes and controls the Ottoman Empire. It portrays his struggles against Byzantium and the Mongol Ilkhanate and how he was able to secure independence from the Sultanate of Rum to establish a sovereign state that would stand up to the Byzantine and Mongol empires and would honor the Turks. The character of Osman faces many enemies and traitors in his quest and the show illustrates how he was able to overcome these obstacles and fulfill his mission with the help of his loyal companions, family, and friends. Silicon Valley is an American comedy television series. The series, a parody of Silicon Valley culture, focuses on Richard Hendricks, a programmer who founds a startup company called Pie Piper, and chronicles his struggles trying to maintain his company while facing competition from larger entities. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its airing, with praise for its writing and humor. The show has been nominated for numerous accolades, including five consecutive Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Comedy Series. The first episode introduces the viewer to an interesting plot. 
Richard Hendricks is a low-level programmer with futuristic internet giant Huoli. He is often taunted by his more successful work colleagues, and his ideas are dismissed by egotistical entrepreneur Ehrlich Bachmann, who owns the tech development incubator where Richard lives with fellow programmers Nelson Bigetti, Bertram Gilfoyle and Dinesh Chugtai. However when Huoli stumbles upon the music copyright service that Richard is working on, entitled Pied Piper, they discover that hidden within the useless application is the best file compression algorithm in the world, and news spreads quickly. Eventually Richard is caught between a $10 million buyout by Huoli CEO Gavin Belson, and a $200,000 investment from eccentric billionaire Peter Gregory, he must decide whether to give up his program to the highest bidder, or to take the investment and create a business out of it himself. After having a panic attack and vomiting, Richard runs into Peter's assistant Monica, who tells him that she believes in him and his idea. Richard decides to take the investment, and run the business himself. Co-creator and executive producer Mike Judge had worked in a Silicon Valley startup early in his career. In 1987, he was a programmer at Parallax, a company with about 40 employees. Judge disliked the company's culture and his colleagues and quit after less than three months, but the experience gave him the background to later create a show about the region's people and companies. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its premiere. In January 2017, in an audience interaction by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, Gates recounted the episode in Silicon Valley in which the protagonists tried to pitch their product to various venture capitalists, saying it reminded him of his own experiences. Once Upon a Time is an American fantasy adventure drama television series that aired for seven seasons on ABC from October 23, 2011 to May 18, 2018. The action alternates between two main settings, a fantastical world where fairy tales happen, and a fictional seaside town in Maine called Storybrook. The real-world part of the story unfolds with the characters of Emma Swan and her 10-year-old son, Henry Mills. Henry discovers the other people of the town are fairy tale characters. The audience is shown the backstory of the town's people as fairy tale characters, in conjunction with their unfolding stories in the real world. Most of the show's characters are extracted from famous fairy tales of the brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen, popular Western literature, folklore, Arthurian legend, and Greek mythology, as well as original Disney characters from the Walt Disney Company. The core themes of the show are hope and optimism. For the first six seasons, the series is set in the fictional seaside town of Storybrook, Maine, in which the residents are actually fairy tale characters that were transported to the real world town and robbed of their memories. Adam Horowitz and Edward Kitsis conceived the show in 2004 before joining the writing staff of Lost, but wanted to wait until that series was over to focus on this project. Eight years before the Once Upon a Time pilot, Kitsis and Horowitz became inspired to write fairy tales out of a love of mystery and excitement of exploring lots of different worlds. They presented the premise to networks, but were refused because of its fantastic nature. From their time on Lost, the writers learned to look at the story in a different way, namely that character has to trump mythology. Yellowstone is an American drama television series created by Taylor Sheridan and John Linson that premiered on June 20, 2018, on Paramount Network. In 2013, Taylor Sheridan began work on the series, having recently grown tired of acting and begun writing screenplays. On May 3, 2017, Paramount Network announced that it had greenlit its first scripted series, Yellowstone. Paramount issued a series order for a first season consisting of 10 episodes. The series stars Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes, Wes Bentley, Kelly Riley, Cole Hauser, and Gil Birmingham. The series follows the conflicts along the shared borders of a large cattle ranch, an Indian reservation, and land developers. The series follows the Dutton family, owners of the largest ranch in Montana, the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, commonly called the Yellowstone. The plot revolves around family drama at the ranch and the bordering Broken Rock Indian Reservation, National Park, and developers. The territory of the Yellowstone Ranch is a tidbit for the neighbors. But John Dutton, thanks to his sons Lee and Jamie and manager Rip Wheeler, deflects all attacks. John's middle son, Casey, lives on the reservation with his wife and son, rides wild horses, and does not want to communicate with his father. But the new head of this Indian reservation, Thomas Rainwater, is looking for an excuse to start a confrontation with John in order to weaken him and then buy back his land. 
To do this, he enlists all the disgruntled and ambitious politicians in Montana, and also takes a closer look at Casey. The same territory is claimed by millionaire real estate developer Dan Jenkins, who wants to build a huge luxury block next to the ranch. House is an American medical drama television series. The series' main character is Dr. Gregory House, an unconventional, misanthropic medical genius who leads a team of diagnosticians at the fictional Princeton Plainsboro Teaching Hospital in New Jersey. The series' premise originated with Paul Atanasio, while David Shore, who is credited as creator, was primarily responsible for the conception of the title character. House often clashes with his fellow physicians, including his own diagnostic team, because many of his hypotheses about patients' illnesses are based on subtle or controversial insights. His flouting of hospital rules and procedures frequently leads him into conflict with his boss, hospital administrator and dean of medicine Dr. Lisa Cuddy. House was among the top 10 series in the United States from its second season through the fourth season. Distributed to 66 countries, House was the most watched television program in the world in 2008. The show received numerous awards, including five Primetime Emmy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, a Peabody Award, and nine People's Choice Awards. On 2012 Fox announced that the eighth season, then in progress, would be its last. The series is structured around a central plot with some supporting secondary stories and narratives that cross over seasons. Most episodes revolve around the diagnosis of a primary patient and start with a cold open set outside the hospital, showing events ending with the onset of the patient's symptoms. The typical episode follows the team in their attempts to diagnose and treat the patient's illness, which often fail until the patient's condition is critical. They usually treat only patients whom other doctors have not accurately diagnosed, and House routinely rejects cases he does not find interesting. Black Mirror is a British anthology television series created by Charlie Brooker. Individual episodes explore a diversity of genres, but most are set in near-future dystopias utilizing a science fiction technology, a type of speculative fiction. The series is based on the Twilight Zone and uses technology to comment on contemporary social issues. As Black Mirror is an anthology series, each episode is standalone and can be watched in any order. The majority of episodes are set in dystopian near-futures with novel technologies that exaggerate a trait from contemporary culture, often the internet. Black Mirror can be seen to demonstrate a negative view of unending pursuit of scientific and technological advancement. The majority of episodes end unhappily. However, characters who carefully consider the risks of technology with which they engage are met with happy endings. The first episode received mostly positive critical reviews. Most reviewers found the episode plausible. Sims commented that every twist seems organic and every decision rational, leading the audience to overlook the insanity of the premise or any minor plot hole. The acting received a positive critical reception. Airing on December 4, 2011, the episode garnered 2.07 million viewers, according to seven-day figures from the broadcaster's audience research board. It was nominated for Best Single Drama at the 2013 Broadcast Awards. The Witcher is a Polish-American fantasy drama television series created by Lauren Schmidt Hisrich, based on the book series of the same name. Set on a fictional, medieval-inspired landmass known as the Continent, The Witcher explores the legend of Geralt of Rivia and Princess Ciri, who are linked to each other by destiny. It stars Henry Cavill, Freya Allen and Anya Kalatra. The story begins with Geralt of Rivia, Crown Princess Ciri of Sintra, and the sorceress Yennefer of Vengeberg at different points of time, exploring formative events that shaped their characters throughout first season, before eventually merging into a single timeline. Geralt and Ciri are linked by destiny since before she was born when he unknowingly demanded her as a reward for his services by invoking the Law of Surprise. After the two finally meet, the Witcher becomes the princess's protector and must help her and fight against her various pursuers to prevent her elder blood and powerful magic from being used for malevolent purposes and keep Ciri and their world safe. Sonia Belusova and Giona Ostinelli composed the soundtrack for the first season. The duo collaborated with several soloists and artists, the soundtrack features many medieval instruments to match the medieval-inspired setting of the series. More of 60 different instruments from around the world were used to create the soundtrack. In an interview, 
the author of the Witcher novels admitted that he was disappointed in the series and considered the series to be only a mediocre adaptation of his books that had little in common with them. But in the same interview he noted another important aspect, saying that the creators of the series are entitled to their own vision of the story they invented. Prison Break is an American serial drama television series created by Paul Schering for Fox. The series revolves around two brothers, Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Burroughs has been sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit, and Schofield devises an elaborate plan to help his brother escape prison and clear his name. The series was originally turned down by Fox in 2003, which was concerned about the long-term prospects of such a series. Following the popularity of serialized primetime television series Lost in 24, Fox decided to back production in 2004. The first season received mostly positive reviews from critics with universal acclaim from audiences. Prison Break was nominated for several industry awards, including the 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series Drama and the 2006 People's Choice Award for Favorite New TV Drama, which it won. The first season of Prison Break, an American serial drama television series, commenced airing in the United States and Canada on August 2005. A total of 10 actors received star billing in the first season, with numerous supporting roles. Filming took place mostly in and around the Chicago area, Fox River was represented by Joliet Prison, which had closed in 2002. Critical reviews of the first season were generally favorable. The first episode was just great. Michael Schofield gets imprisoned in Fox River State Penitentiary as part of an elaborate plan to break out his brother, Lincoln Burroughs. Scenes set in Lincoln's cell, the infirmary, and the prison yard were all shot on location at the prison. Lincoln's cell is the same one in which John Wayne Gacy was incarcerated. Most of the production crew refused to enter the cell, thinking that it was haunted. 23. Other sets were built at the prison, including the cell blocks that housed the general prison population. These blocks had three tiers of cells, as opposed to the real cell blocks too, and had cells much larger than real cells to allow more space for the actors and cameras. The two-hour pilot episode garnered approximately 10.5 million viewers. Vikings is a historical drama television series created and written by Michael Hurst. Vikings is inspired by the sagas of Ragnar Lodbrok, a Viking who is one of the best-known legendary Norse heroes and notorious as the scourge of Anglo-Saxon England and West Francia. The show portrays Ragnar as a farmer who rises to fame by raiding England and eventually becomes the Scandinavian king, with the support of his family and fellow warriors. In the later seasons, the series follows the fortunes of his sons and their adventures in England, Scandinavia, the Mediterranean and North America. The series began filming in July 2012 at Ashford Studios in Ireland, which at the time was a newly built facility. This location was chosen for its scenery and tax advantages. The first episode received favorable reviews, with an average rating of 71% according to Metacritic. Many characters are based on real people from history or legend and the events portrayed are broadly drawn from history. The history of more than a century has been condensed, people who could never have met are shown as of similar age, with the history amended for dramatic effect. The main role is played by Travis Fimmel. The man at the time of filming the series was already 35 years, but before the series Vikings, he got only a minor minor role. He was better known as a model, because he did not see himself as the fearless leader of the harsh northerners. After the series, the actor became one of the most recognizable among contemporary celebrities. Doctor Who is a British science fiction television program broadcast by the BBC since 1963. The program depicts the adventures of a time lord called the Doctor, an extraterrestrial being who appears to be human. The Doctor explores the universe in a time-traveling spaceship called the TARDIS. The TARDIS exterior appears as a blue British police box, which was a common sight in Britain in 1963 when the series first aired. With various companions, the Doctor combats foes, works to save civilizations, and helps people in need. Beginning with William Hartnell, 
13 actors have headlined the series as the Doctor. In 2017, Jodie Whittaker became the first woman to officially play the role on television. The transition from one actor to another is written into the plot of the show with the concept of regeneration into a new incarnation, a plot device in which a Time Lord transforms into a new body when the current one is too badly harmed to heal normally. Each actor's portrayal is unique, but all represent stages in the life of the same character, and together, they form a single lifetime with a single narrative. The time-traveling feature of the plot means that different incarnations of the Doctor occasionally meet. The program was originally intended to appeal to a family audience as an educational program using time travel as a means to explore scientific ideas and famous moments in history. The show is a significant part of British popular culture, and elsewhere, it has gained a cult following. It has influenced generations of British television professionals, many of whom grew up watching the series. The program is listed in Guinness World Records as the longest-running science fiction television show in the world, as well as the most successful science fiction series of all time. The program originally ran from 1963 to 1989. There was an unsuccessful attempt to revive regular production in 1996 with a backdoor pilot in the form of a television film titled Doctor Who. The program was relaunched in 2005 and since then, has been produced in-house by BBC Wales in Cardiff. Jodha Akbar is an Indian fictional drama romantic television series aired from June 18, 2013 to August 7, 2015. Starring Raja Tokas and Paridi Sharma, it was a successful show with praises for its cast performances. Jodha Akbar is an epic drama that focuses on how the marriage policy brings the love of Jodha Bai and Akbar in a measure that has changed the destiny of India. This drama period also describes the wars of this time and the relations between the Mughals and Rajputs and how Jodha and Akbar face trials and tribulations to be together. The drama also focuses on the operating queens, courts, courtesans, ministers and their influence on the love story of Akbar and Jodha Bai. Finally, the show also portrays how Mughal Emperor Jalaluddin Muhammad acquires the title Akbar from the people of India. Jalaluddin Muhammad, a fearless warrior, son of Emperor Humayun and Hamida Banu Begum, became the emperor of the Mughal dynasty at a very young age. He is under the influence of Bairam Khan, his reagent, and Maham Anga, his foster mother. Bairam Khan has taught Jalal to be a ruthless and cruel ruler, and spread his rule by fear, conquer people by the sword. Jalal, following Bairam Khan's ideals becomes a heartless and fearsome ruler, whom the people dislike. He wants to conquer the entire Hindustan, and presently, he is eyeing the golden Rajputana. Jodha Bai, Princess of Amur, daughter of Raja Barmal and Rani Mainavati, is a kind and intelligent young girl, who believes in ruling people's hearts and that rule is spread by love and togetherness, not by force. She decides to go to a faraway temple to offer prayers on her birthday, along with Modi Bai, her friend and aide. While offering prayers there, a band of Mughal soldiers come and start looting the jewelry of the goddess. When Modi Bai tries to stop them, they try to molest her. Angered at this, Jodha asks who could be so cruel as to rob people of their religions, to which a temple person replied Jalaluddin Muhammad. Jodha pledges to destroy Jalal and present his head in front of the goddess. The title of the series was criticized by members of the Kshatriya community as misleading, politically motivated historical revisionism that minimized Rajput history. The community protested against the series in Rajasthan, and alleged that if the name was not changed they would not let any Balaji Telefilms films to be released in the state. Lost is an American drama television series that aired on ABC from 2004 to 2010, over six seasons, comprising a total of 121 episodes. The show contains elements of supernatural and science fiction, and follows the survivors of a commercial jet airliner flying between Sydney and Los Angeles, after the plane crashes on a mysterious island somewhere in the South Pacific Ocean. The story is told in a heavily serialized manner. Episodes typically feature a primary storyline set on the island, augmented by flashback or flash-forward sequences which provide additional insight into the involved characters. Developed as a television adaptation of the 2000 Tom Hanks film Cast Away, Lost was created by Jeffrey Lieber, J. J. Abrams, and Damon Lindelof, who share story writing credits for the pilot episode, which Abrams directed. 
Throughout the show's run, Lindelof and Carlton Cuse served as showrunners and head writers, working together with many other executive producers and writers. Due to its large ensemble cast and the cost of filming primarily on location in Oahu, Hawaii, the series was one of the most expensive on television, with the pilot alone costing over $14 million. Lost has regularly been ranked by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. The first season had an estimated average of 16 million viewers per episode on ABC. During its sixth and final season, the show averaged over 11 million US viewers per episode. Lost was the recipient of hundreds of industry award nominations throughout its run and won numerous of these awards, including the Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series in 2005. The plot of the first episode of the first season turned out to be very interesting. Oceanic Airlines Flight 815, a commercial airliner flying from Sydney to Los Angeles, hits turbulence and breaks apart in mid-air and crashes on a deserted tropical island in the South Pacific, with 48 survivors of the initial crash. Mysterious roars are heard from the jungle and trees are found knocked over. Jack, Kate and Charlie set out into the jungle to find the cockpit of the airplane so they can send out a distress signal using the plane's transceiver. They also find the pilot, who survived the crash and informs them that the plane had been steered more than a thousand miles off course before it crashed, and thus any rescuers would be looking in the wrong place. The Good Doctor is an American medical drama television series based on the 2013 South Korean series of the same name. Actor Daniel Day Kim, world famous for his role in the TV series Lost, noticed the original series and bought the rights for his production company. He began adapting the series and, in 2015, eventually shopped it to CBS Television Studios. CBS decided against creating a pilot. Because Kim felt so strongly about the series, he bought back the rights from CBS. Eventually, Sony Pictures Television and Kim worked out a deal and brought on David Shore, creator of the Fox medical drama House, to develop the series. In the first episode, on the way to begin his surgical residency at San Jose Hospital, Dr. Sean Murphy witnesses an airport sign fall and shatter glass onto a young boy. With his unique ability to visualize the internal body and using improvised methods and tools, Sean is able to stabilize the boy. In a hospital board meeting, Dr. Aaron Glassman, president of the hospital, tries to convince the board to hire Sean, despite his autism. Throughout the episode, flashbacks were shown, revealing the picture of Sean's childhood and his motivation for becoming a doctor.